Well, a few months back I put out a video on this right here, the Bayesian BN880 GPS Compass Module. And it was one of my more popular videos. That's not saying much, but it did garner 2,000 views approximately. And when I came back to look at some of the comments, one of the viewers, Bubba, asked a question, how accurate is the compass? And to tell you the truth, I don't know right now because I never bothered to try it. I just wanted to fire it up and make sure it works. But why don't we give it a try and find out at least if it's close. If you look right now, you'll see that it's flashing blue, which indicates it's looking for satellites. So can't do an awful lot right now. But I will prep the code and get ready to test it. This is the Bayesian BN880 GPS module with Compass, and it uses the Honeywell HMC5883 module, which looks something like this. And if you would like to experiment with just the Compass and not the GPS, Adafruit makes a breakout board with the HMC5883L on it, and all of the necessary. I will provide the links in the description below. There is a PDF and documentation for the BN880 itself is rather lacking so you have to kind of hunt down the internal modules and their documentation from the manufacturers. I am using the libraries from Adafruit for this chip. So here we go. The code is written and uploaded to the UNO and this code is very stringy, very hacky. It was a combination of example code and some of my previous code, but it works. You can see a Compass app running on my droid. I'm relatively confident in the app's accuracy. Now here is a couple of points in the code, namely the big one is Compass Set Declination, 1540 east. This is the magnetic difference for my location, or fairly close to it, very near to Victoria. You'll see why this is important later. I have the compass set to continuous mode so that it's constantly updating. And I have the scale, or the sensitivity of the compass set very low. The higher the number, the lower the sensitivity. And then compass horizontal x north sets the orientation like this. Just going to bring up the window so that it sits higher here. Setting the orientation will make the needle point across the label in this direction. You will notice that the Compass app has a heading of roughly 69 degrees east. But you can see the heading scrolling up the serial monitoring window below. And it doesn't look anything like the compass on the phone. We have an issue. And it has partly to do with that deviation or declination that has been set in the code. I'm going to switch windows again. And I'm going to change that compass set declination to another figure. Recompile the code. And upload it.
And you can see the code is being uploaded now. The serial monitor window has blanked out as the code has halted running. I'm just going to raise the serial monitor window up here. And now you can see that after changing the magnetic declination, that the code is a little bit closer, but it's still off. I have my theory about this, and I think it basically has to do with the fact that I'm inside of a building completely surrounded by steel mesh. It's an apartment building with stucco on the outside. There I've recompiled again. And that the room that I'm running the experiments in are full of computers and monitors and other electronics and so that's probably interfering with the operation of the compass as I did take it outside and give a try on our balcony and it seemed to be closer to accurate being about oh 10 degrees out consistently all the way around whenever you rotated it the other thing is that I think it probably reacts to my magnetic field from my body as well. And you'll see kind of the heading is leaping around there a little bit. I've turned the compass a bit. I'm going to turn it to see if I can get to zero north. Yeah, that's fairly close. Now let's turn the compass. And you can see that they're running roughly parallel to each other. And it's not far off of zero. The other thing about this compass module is that it's very sensitive. You just turn it a little bit and it can change considerably. There we go. There's real close to magnetic north. And it is conceivable that the compass in the app is also being affected by the magnetic fields in this room and might not necessarily be 100% accurate. But I think it's fairly close. And you can see it's reading about 94 degrees east. And the module is reading not far off. I think with some tweaking and shielding from any electronics that this module would probably be fairly accurate. It's highly recommended by the Ardu pilot guys and yeah, I just didn't want to spend that much time on it. My purpose for having this thing is to put it in an unmanned aerial vehicle of some sort. Fixed wing, probably. The other thing that is supposedly affects this module negatively is being close to something like the microprocessor, the Arduino, and other electronic sources that people have complained about that and said you need to keep them away from each other at least as far as you can conceivably and probably putting the Arduino in some kind of a shield can would really help and getting it away from half a dozen computers would probably also help. Overall I'm pleased with it and I think it will work well from a project I am contemplating although I'm not quite finished my plans for playing with it. Jamata.